What is up, people, YouTube? It is I, Super Mariozilla, or you can call me Vinny. And today, we're gonna take a look at the SH Bot Starts Godzilla 1992 Orion Noyoshi poster version. This version of Godzilla is a poster version of Godzilla, and the poster was illustrated by Orai Noriyoshi. Except Tamashi cheat down on us and use the incorrect suit. Not joking, this is literally the sixth f***ing time the 95 mold has been used. And you know what? It's time to retire this mold. Why? You know, obvious mold degradation. Well, regardless of that, is the figure still worth owning? Well, you know why you're here. Let's take a closer look. Like I said, this is literally the, the 95 mold we painted to look like the 93 poster Godzilla. And might I add, they did not do a good job replicating the poster version. Well, they did in the prototype stages. So what's wrong with the final product? I'll explain. First the head. The head is the 95 sculpt obviously, but we actually have some good here. They nailed the eyes and the teeth. They both look fantastic. The teeth has great blending. I love it. No issues there. And then the eyes are nice yellow, orange, and red. Almost a starburst-ish look. Moving down to the neck, we can see they went a little overboard with the goldish paint. Not good. It looks almost like Sludge. In fact, I officially given this figure the nickname. SH Monstruts Sludgezilla. The rest of the gold paint does have nice dry brushing throughout the figure, I admit. But on some other parts, they went a bit overboard. And remember how the poster Godzilla had a glittery type look to him? Well, this would have easily been remedied if they added more blue dry brushing. But instead, they only barely used the blue and it makes them barely pop. The claws look awful. Honestly, it looks like they just gave up. As well as the toes. Awful paint. Very sloppy. The dorsal plates, however, look great. Nice frosty white and blue, and yes, they are transparent. And on mine, we have paint chips right out of the box. The tail is more under control with the gold paint, and the dorsal plates on the tail are inconsistent. One segment is a lighter blue, while the other one is a darker blue. What were they doing? While I do enjoy the chaotic nature of the figure, I still think the paint should have been a hell of a lot better. There's probably about, uh, I don't know, two of you that uh, that do not know how how much possible the 95 mold is. So I will go over it just for you, but I will go over it relatively quickly. And however, my articulation on this one, it's, uh, it's not good. And I will explain along the way as we go along. Head is on a ball joint. Move this high up, this far down. Can look side to side, which is pretty good. The jaw is on a hinge, but it is really stiff. And I mean really stiff. And the jaw is off centered, so that's nice. Arms are on ball joints. You do want to be careful not to uh, damage the sculpt or the paint. As crappy as the paint may look. Biceps are on ball joints, and they can swivel. Elbows are on ball joints. They, they can move um, a little bit less than 90 degrees, so uh, for, for Godzilla, that is acceptable. Hands are on ball joints. Uh, the waist joints are on ball joints. However, my, again, mine are pretty stiff. Are pretty stiff. However, he can move forward about this much, which is uh, is actually not is actually pretty good, and he can move back about uh, this much. However, the my birth version could move further. So again, uh, also also uh, I'm losing my mind. I, I don't know for whatever reason, sometimes the ball joint the the ball joints in there do not want to give. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Legs are on ball joints. Can move this far forward, this far back, and we can get some splits. And oh no, there's a gap. There we go. Stop complaining. Uh, knees are on ball joints. Can bend about this much, which is decent at best. Ankles are on ball joints. And the feet are also on ball joints. And this one? Really? Okay, so it wasn't doing it now, but this one, uh, but this foot joint loves to pop off. I was hoping to show it off on camera, but apparently it did not want to pop off. So, yeah, it just made a liar out of me. Thank you very much. Tail is on a many series of ball joints. However, mine keep rubber banding, and it's really stiff. And I cannot get as much range out of it as I can with Burning Godzilla and or- Ow! 
pitch myself up the spines. As I was saying, I cannot get as much range out of it as I could with birth version or, or burning uh, Godzilla. And sometimes that'll happen. Which is really, really, really f***ing frustrating. Which is really f frustrating. <sighs> there we go. Uh, the, 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 the wasn't as bad as I thought it was. And obviously, you know, there's no extra articulation on here, which I don't know why they don't, they don't bother improving on if they're going to reuse the 95 molds so many goddamn times. So articulation is pretty average for the Godzilla SH Monstart, and pretty average since this is technically the, the birth ver version. Well, not birth version, the 95 mold, excuse me. So you, you can get some neat poses out of them still, but, you know, if, if, you, if you wanted something new, um, you're not going to find it here, that, that's for sure. For the three of you that don't know the 95 molts height, Godzilla stands a bit over 6 inches tall. Here are the comparisons. Here he is with the SH Monstrats Little Godzilla and Godzilla Jr. Here he is with the SH Monstrats Super Mecha Godzilla and Space Godzilla. Here he is with the SH Monstrats Gigan and Destroya. Here he is with the SH Monstrats King Ghidorah and Martha. And finally, here he is with the Tamashi Mix or uh, Solo Chagokin Orion Noyoshi 1993 Poster Mecha Godzilla. Godzilla really does not make up that much space, so if you want to put him alongside with the other monsters, you shouldn't- you really shouldn't have any issues. Godzilla actually comes with accessories! They did an awesome job, they would obviously give us a blue beam with this one, right? Well he- went went wah! Oh my god, please tell me that this is a joke, right? This is really not funny. <laughs> yes, for seventy five bucks, we barely get. Anything. A beam would have been a perfect opportunity, but no, they cheeked out on us like usual. Anyway, we get two alternate open hands like the previous 95 figures. They're paint to change, so if you're having a hard time, use a hairdryer. And a card with the Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla poster on it. Really? It's not even a unique drawing. There's no signature. It's just the damn poster, mini-sized. I could easily print this in if I wanted to. So again, Tamashi cheeked out on us in this department. Ugh! I'm not gonna lie, accessories are pretty lame, and for $75, there is no excuse. So, buy, don't buy, or wait for a sale. This figure is very mediocre. The paint job is not good, the articulation is average for monster arts, and the accessories are just lame and barely give you any options. It seems Tamashi just really did not care about this at all. And if, you, and if they don't care, why should we? I'm gonna be brutally honest, do not buy this. If you really want the figure, get it for sale, as cheap as you can possibly can. For $75, no, hell, it's barely even worth $62. If you're a completionist, you probably already have this. But if you don't, I honestly would not bother. I may enjoy this figure myself, but that's only because I enjoyed the chaotic nature of the figure, and because I wanted it to go along with my poster Mechagodzilla version. That's just me, though. Take it for what you will. I'll give Godzilla a 5 out of 10. Well. That's it. Thanks guys and gals so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you would like to be updated on when new videos goes up, be sure to subscribe. If you want to be notified when new videos go live, be sure to hit that bell icon. And if you want some behind the scenes stuff, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Link to it is down below. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.